there is a greater risk for the Caribbean, Central America, and the Gulf of Mexico. Warm regards, today is Friday, March 29, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I would like to discuss the forecast that AccuWeather recently published yesterday regarding the cyclonic activity anticipated in the Atlantic Ocean during the upcoming 2024 hurricane season. Remember that the hurricane season begins in approximately two months, officially on June 1, 2024. It should come as no surprise to many that AccuWeather is forecasting one of the most active seasons on record. The group of experts predicts that there will be between 20 to 25 tropical storms, of which 8 to 12 could become hurricanes, and of these, between 4 to 7 could be major hurricanes, meaning Category 3, 4, or 5. Additionally, they are forecasting that the accumulated cyclone energy could range from 175 to 225 units. When we compare these numbers to what is an average season, we can see that a much more active season is being forecasted. AccuWeather also comments that the most important points are, there is a high probability that the hurricane season will be more active than normal. There is up to a 10 to 15% chance of 30 tropical storms forming. This would come close to the record of the 2020 season, where we saw 30 tropical storms forming. They also mention that there is a heightened risk of powerful hurricanes, as well as a heightened risk of direct impacts in the Caribbean region and sectors of the United States, including the states of Texas, Florida, and North Carolina. As we have discussed over the past few weeks, the most important factors for this aggressive forecast are the expected transition from the El Niño phenomenon to La Niña for the hurricane season. Additionally, the tropical Atlantic region continues to have ocean surface temperatures at record levels for this time of year. Furthermore, they mention that the location of the Bermuda High Pressure System could pose a greater risk for the Caribbean and the United States. Regarding the development of La Niña, Remember that we are monitoring the Pacific region where we see the El Niño phenomenon continuing to weaken. It is projected that by the months of May or June, we will already have neutral ENSO conditions. For the peak of the season, the La Niña phenomenon could develop. Historically, in years when we have had the La Niña phenomenon, the sheer winds across the Caribbean decrease. This creates favorable conditions for the formation and development of tropical cyclones in the Atlantic. AccuWeather emphasizes that the main region of cyclonic development, namely the Caribbean and the region between the Caribbean and Africa, are experiencing temperatures that far exceed what is normal for this time of year. In fact, in the following graph, you can see that February 2024 in this region was the warmest since records began in 1910. AccuWeather comments that these temperatures could be a key factor for a hyperactive season. In their analysis, AccuWeather's experts comment that the Bermuda High Pressure System could be stronger than usual this year. This could favor trajectories more towards the west in the Caribbean region, the Gulf of Mexico, and the southeastern United States. This is why they have identified some areas in the United States that could be at greater risk, including North Carolina, South Carolina, the Florida Panhandle region, Southern Florida, and the Texas region. Similarly, there is a greater risk for the Caribbean, Central America, and the Gulf of Mexico. Finally, they mention that the greatest risk will be during the peak of the season between August and October, where 80% of major hurricanes originate from tropical waves that form over Africa and move westward into the Atlantic. Once again, we see another group of meteorology experts forecasting a hyperactive season. The time to prepare is now. We will be very attentive as the forecast from the University of Colorado is released on April 6, which will likely also project a hyperactive season. Stay informed during this season with Hurricane Info. Subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below the video that says subscribe. Then click on the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. It will be until next week then to discuss the forecast from the University of Colorado. Goodbye for now.